Hello, good morning. We are at Slagharen in the Netherlands. We made it to the Netherlands. Our seventh country of the trip. The message from the government of the Netherlands. Dear Mr. President, welcome to this introduction video. We've got Pony Park Slagharen. <laughs> They're the best ponies. They are. You can ride them. You can date them. You can grab them by the pony. What are we doing today? Today's Wallaby Holland Day, but we're here first at Slagharen because they have a Gerslauer. So we're on a Gerslauer roll right now. We had Gerslauers all yesterday. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get on this. We have our Belantis Gold Card that we purchased earlier in the trip, which gets us into this park for free. So that's why we're here for such a short amount of time, just to check the place out and also ride the Gerslauer. Slagharen is a theme park that opened in 1963 as a vacation area with homes and a Shetland pony riding experience. It's a pony park turned theme park. A pool and fairground rides were added in the years following, and the park expanded to include over 170 vacation homes by 1970. You can still see today that the vacation homes area takes up a much larger space than the amusement park itself. The park is more a resort with a theme park attached. By 1972, the park offered tickets to pay once for unlimited rides, and the rest is history. The amusement park now offers over 30 rides and two roller coasters. In 2012, the theme park was sold to the park's Rianudos chain. Slagharen is broken up into two main sections with a long main street connecting them, and also a chairlift ride down this main road. The family coaster is on one side of the park, with the Gold Rush roller coaster on the other, a Gerslauer multi-launch coaster. There's even a full grocery store inside this theme park, with wine, beer, there's fridge sections and shopping carts inside because of the large camping areas and cabins that are attached to the park. Gold Rush is the Gerslauer launch coaster. It utilizes the station launch multiple times before completing its full circuit layout. This ride did get a long line right away in the morning and the line moves slow because of the one train operation that it's required to have. So because of that, we recommend arriving before the park opening and really getting first in line for this coaster. Or if you're visiting near the closing time of the park, we imagine that the line would die down later in the day. It's a quite short ride, but the multiple launches make it feel a little bit longer and it feels long enough. All right, so we just got off another Gerslauer Gold Rush. It was and, fun. Uh, yeah, it is fun. The triple launch is nice. It was a little kicky. There was great hang time on the element that you go up backwards. Uh, and that element at the end is like the best. That, yeah, it's, the element uh, at the end is the best part easily. You just like, whip underneath and get bolded. It's awesome. Yeah. It's this, this air hill right in the middle was a little weak. Yeah, but, right um, I mean, that could have just been because we were stapled at that point, so. It was like, the loop at the end though reminded me of Karacho, and that's like literally my favorite part of the Karacho. I did it on this. So yeah. It's a cool ride. Really? I like the top hat too. Because the elements that you don't think will be good are great, and the ones that you expect to be good, like the airtime hills, are just okay. Yeah. Definitely worth oh, yeah. Two oh, yeah. Times. yeah. You can see some of the theming in the park here too. It is a special park and it has enough to do for a few hours. It's mostly Western themed inside. And if you wanted to stay longer or ride more than once or even stay on site and visit some other theme parks in the area, it seems like a really nice place to do that. You can see that this was just a credit run stop for us, but it was nice to get on this unique Gerslauer and just see this very quaint park. Well, we're gonna cut this pretty short. We've been here for 38 minutes and we're done. Yay! Wallaby. <laughs> yeah, Wallaby Holland Day. Guys, if you come to Europe, buy that Park U Rio Noodles Pass. It does come in handy like this. That was it. This was probably the shortest stop on our entire trip, but Wallaby Holland was actually the main reason 
that we were going today and it opened an hour later than this park. So we were able to just run in very quickly and get these two roller coasters before heading over to Wallaby Holland, um, a theme park located about an hour from Slogharan. So until next time and at Wallaby Holland, thanks for watching and see ya.